In all honesty, I'm feeling pretty shitty about myself. I woke up at 11 o'clock. Last night I finished at about 3. So I've now officially finished one prompt, Bush Ranger, which is the. Read a book with the in the title. And I just started a book that I'm a bit intimidated to read. And it is. This one's called Hellship by Michael Vetch. Beach. One of the most calamitous voyages in Australia history, the plague-stricken sailing ship that left England for Victoria with 800 doom emigrants on board. It's a bit info-dumpy. It talks about uh, the gold rush and how a lot of bunch of people were like, yeah, let's get on that, and flocked to Victoria. It talks a lot about how prices were to emigrate from England, Ireland, and Scotland. Um, and a lot of people were flocking towards Victoria so in order to keep the economy going like, maybe we should just like get them over here and like charge them money so that when they get here they can just be in debt <laughs> like it's cool I reckon this is gonna be a genre that I'm gonna really really like and get more interested in um I yesterday I also started reading the ebook for Coraline by Neil Gaiman and that one is going to be the book with Sapphire on the cover. Sapphire being my birthstone. I'm currently, I'm at page 94 of Coraline. Let me do some math and see how many pages. So yesterday, day one, the 20th of July, I read. So there's 320 pages in the last Bush Ranger and 94 pages in Coraline and I read 414 pages on the first day. Um, today I'm planning on going down to the park and I'm going to be reading Heartstopper Volume 3. My roommate made me this little charm. It's really freaking cute. So yeah, it's my outfit for today. He came out to his mum as bisexual. Go to Paris! Paris! Oui, oui! Enchanté! That's French. <laughs> Wait, Paris is French. Oh, Fucking Cheese fell over now. Are you a YouTuber? Yeah. Are you a YouTuber? Yeah. Made videos about books. YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to start doing movies and TV shows as well. Don't have to. Just make multiple accounts. I just want people who actually like my content, not people to just make me more popular. I'm embarrassed by it a bit because I'm not comfortable yet. People haven't been like the most supportive, or when they they act supportive, but really they're being condescending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! If I go on it, I have to film it. Do it. Ah! <laughs> Mind you. Yeah. Oh no. I already regret this decision. Oh. 
Aaron just faded. Ah! <laughs> that made me so feel so weird. That was fun. That was, that so was fun. <laughs> Yeah. We can all fit. Go on. Are you? <laughs> oh no. He's talking and stuff. Who's yeah. Ow! I can't swim. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh no. Oh, Am I the one who's no. doing swimming? The swinging? Hmm? Well, I can't reach the ground. I can just reach. I can just reach. I'm nowhere near the ground. <laughs> ready? 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 Yep. I'm a giraffe. <laughs> a giraffe. I did my ankle as well. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> okay, so it is the end of the day because I work nights. Um, it's currently 1.30 as I'm filming this. Yesterday I read 40, 415 pages. Now today I read 320 pages. I did finish a book at 1 o'clock but I'm just going to count it as the day. I'm not like too worried you know. I read 60 pages of Heartstopper Volume 3 by Alice Oseman. I did get very distracted at the park and but I did get some lovely footage of me and my roommate and her brother, you know, friends hanging out, having fun. Um, after the park we did end up coming back home and we watched Saw while I edited the vlog for the 21st, day one, um, and a little bit of day two. Um, tomorrow I'm probably going to be doing more vlogging and more editing because people who do daily vlogs edit a lot and I didn't even mean to do daily vlogs I just have a lot of content apparently I probably won't have that much tomorrow or Thursday but we'll see anyway back on track so I read 60 pages and then the other rest of the pages which is the big bulk is the 260 pages worth of the hell ship by Michael hang on what's his name Michael Vetch, Veach, I don't know how to pronounce his name, probably should have looked that up. Um, so this one was about, yeah, 260 pages and I finished it. Basically for me, this one kind of was a lot of info dumpy. I think the past previous one was also info dumpy and luckily I do have a little bit of background knowledge. So this one is about a witch from England holding a lot of immigrants honestly just wanted a new fresh start so in order to get a fresh start they have to take a ship over to Australia and this particular book is about a, a ship that I can't think of what the name is a bunch of people overpacked in a ship traveling about 65 days 90 days I don't remember 65 95 who the fuck remembers me not me um, just a, yeah, took a long voyage from one point A to Australia. <laughs> a bunch of people get sick, like proper sick sick. Eventually, like, everyone, like, there's bodies, like, so many bodies on the ship that they can't even, like, toss them over anymore because, like, there's just too much. Like, funerals are pointless at this point. It's, so, it's not, like, emotionally driven. It's more, like, factually driven, which... If I was reading it emotionally driven, I probably would have like cried at work and it would have been really embarrassing. But because it's more factual, I just find it intriguing and interesting. I remember to where in particular, but they get there and it's like, oh yeah, you can't be here and disease is shit. You know, we can't take you to Melbourne when you're about to cark it. So they go to this like beachy area and they basically set up hospitals and shit there. And like, it's basically like a bunch of people with trying to come over to start a new life and they all like fucking get sick and like kind of die. It's sad. Not to spoil things, but like it's history, so it's not really much to spoil. 
You get me? Like, I'm finding historical shit so much more intriguing than I ever thought they would be. And I'm so glad that I chose this one in particular. I don't read a lot of Australian novels, to be honest. Paul Jennings, which I used to read Paul Jennings books all the time growing up as a kid, um, because one of my teachers in year four was like really pushing that because a lot of his stuff inspired around the twist which is an iconic australian tv show that i grew up with from childhood one would be tomorrow and all began series which that series was like my shit like in year six go as a class and like the moment she read that first chapter i was like i need the whole fucking book series that was like one of the main series that i actually read as a kid because like i'd read a bunch of goosebumps i read like the second book of harry potter because i was an idiot and didn't know that it was the second book not the first book and then like what twilight all began was like a beginning a new chapter also like i had a fat ass crush on lee and it was one of my first exposure to asian men in media that like maybe go am i the only one who finds him attractive so it was very interesting for me to see that sort of representation i'm getting off track i guess this counts as my childhood story <laughs> i did not mean to put this here in the end of the thing but childhood story tomorrow and all began <laughs> anyway i should um go to bed because i'm fucking tired